All right, you guys, January 14th, 2023. It is 2.47, 35 degrees. We just started transitioning to a wintry mix. Literally, I've been staring out the window this whole time, watching TV, staring out the window. And uh, yeah, we're starting to transition. So the first spot we're gonna end up up here is we're gonna go up to Upper Moon Ridge to see more, more snow, more snow, snow because it's gonna be snowing up there, I'm pretty certain. Now the temperature dropped to 30 foot, wow. The temperature has been plummeting over the past hour, you guys. It was 40 degrees when I uploaded that other video. So yes, we're still getting a rain mix now, but it's, it's, it's gonna change all to snow in about a couple minutes here. Look, you can see all the ice building up on the side of the windshield. Wow, this is fantabulous, guys, fantabulous. This guy's got his right signal on going through the roundabout to the left. Like it's just, just asking to be in an accident, dude. You gotta be careful. Okay, getting more and more of the snow compared to rain. So that's great. So we're gonna go straight here. Here we go. It looks like it's all snow now. Wow, that was quick. Literally, guys, I, I jump up as soon as I see a single snowflake or what appears to be a snowflake. So now we're starting to climb and we're going to be going up to Upper Moon Ridge to find us some snow, yo. It's crazy. It shows in the next 48 hours we could get 22 inches of snow, guys. And because of this quick transition, who knows what's going to happen. Who knows what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a gnarly road to drive up if that's the case, but we're still gonna do it anyway, I think. This is great, folks. This is great, folks. I am so excited, you guys. I love you guys so much. Yep, it's all snow now. By the time we get to the top here, it'll be 33, maybe 32 degrees. Still 34, look at all the traffic in town. So we're probably gonna avoid all that and just take kind of the back routes and there's the temperature there's the time look at how beautiful this car is this is beautiful that freaking huge laptop i got right there <laughs> it's super cool all right guys all snow yeah boy oh i love it i love it i love it so i'm gonna get my weather channel thing back up real quickly so i can take a look at it and see what she's saying now man See what she's saying now, bro. Okay. Look at how heavy. I haven't seen it like this in a couple years. If it pans out like that, guys, we are going to get throttled. Just throttled. So let's see here. What's it saying? And then, in the, okay, it changed. In the next 48 hours, we could get up to 19 inches. Of course, typical. It goes down. But maybe we'll get a big part of the storm to change a little bit and come through here oh. okay we never go to the left but we are going to go to the right here like usual We're starting to see white in the road up here, which is great. We do have a police officer right behind us. Oh my gosh, guys. This, see how quickly it starts to accumulate way up here when we're right on the freaking snow line? So great. All 
right, so we're gonna go all the way around Villa Grove. We're gonna do the whole Upper Moon Ridge tour. Look at this beautiful snow, guys. It's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. I know the windshield wiper's kind of annoying. Let me spray it with a little bit of water. Okay, John Law turned. Guys, we have really awesome police officers up here. They are so freaking cool. And they deal with an awful lot. They are such freaking cool people up here. Most cops are, you guys. Well, just like in every industry, you've got your bad seeds, but these officers are freaking awesome. I've had some great interactions with them. Some of them recognize me, which is super cool. One time, one of them went on his loudspeaker at 7-Eleven. He's like, hey, Nick. <laughs> it was so cool. All right, so let's really quickly. So here's today's forecast. Once again, I hope you guys can read that because I'm driving. I know I'm not holding it steady. Slow down the windshield and then we'll go to the next day. Look at that. We could get another eight, nine inches tomorrow as well. And then let's go to Monday. So we could get another six inches on Monday. Guys, this could be freaking the most snow we've seen in a, a couple seasons if it all works out. So keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. For all the skiers, it's about to transition down there where I live completely. By the time we get back down, guys, it'll be snow everywhere. Temperature, 33 degrees, 2.54 p.m. This is where we're at. We're way up here in the hills. Yeah, boy. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I've been really, really good about, you know, timing it perfectly when it comes to, I mean, it's not, it, it doesn't take a genius, <laughs> you know, but it seems like I've been really, really good and really lucky when it comes to uh, finding this weather, the snow uh, at the transition point, finding it quicker. Like, we drive out when it's raining for the most part, but then within a few minutes, I'll find the snow. I love it. Yeah, they got a lot more snow up here anyway. It's gonna drop down to 32 in just a second here, from 33. So just give it a second and then I will point the camera at the temperature, the outside temperature so you guys can see how quickly it'll be down to 32. I know this is annoying. I thought maybe spraying it with a little water would help. tire marks they kind of went over to the edge right there what's going on there okay I think it's gonna to turn to 32 like right now let's see I'm only gauging that by our short leftover climb in elevation but we're at about as high up as we're gonna get on this road but as I said the, the temperature in the past hour has been plummeting from 40 degrees and that's what we need, guys. That's what we need up here. Tonight, I'm taking my wife to Captain's Anchorage again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Once or twice a month, we'll save up a few bucks, go take care of that. Because, you know, you only live once. It's good to spoil yourself once in a while. I'm always responsible. So it's, it, it just makes it fun once in a while to go enjoy it. But yeah, 3 o'clock p.m. in Big Bear Lake, California. We are in Upper Moon Ridge right now. And we can, uh, if I put it like this, you're not going to be able to see much of the road, though. We will figure it out, guys. We will get this whole thing figured it out. Figured it out. <laughs> we'll get it all figured out. Hey, 
big German Shepherd. Oh, it's so pretty. Keep it coming, Mother Nature. Keep it coming. Okay. I gotta turn up the defroster real quickly to kind of help get these windshield wipers uh, taken care of. Alright, so instead of going back on Wolf Drive, we're gonna turn left and climb a little bit more. Temperature's still 33. 258 p.m. Just got to be careful keeping my phone up here close to the windshield because the heat from the defroster will uh, overheat the phone. Okay, now we're gonna go down something pretty sketchy, you guys. This is not gonna be fun, but we gotta do it. So we're on Canyon Crest now. This is a lot steeper than it looks, you guys. When there's more snow, believe it or not, I find it to be safer, for me at least, which I would assume would be safer for most people because this little layer on top of the road my tires can't like dig into it and I'm picking up speed quickly so I have to be careful and you want to pump your brakes very lightly you guys very lightly don't just keep a steady foot on them pump them lightly let's see what we got going on over here oh it's so nice up here and if you guys do happen to come up to Upper Moon Ridge and you get lost, just there are these emergency evacuation route signs everywhere. Just follow these bad boys and you'll be fine. Okay, we're still at 33 degrees. We're on Calusa Drive now. It's getting really steep here. Pump them, pump them, pump them. Pumpity pump, pump, pump. Pump the brakes, dude. Pump them. Okay, this is a super steep part. I'll never forget one time when I was right here, there was some guy standing like three feet left of this white van. The white van wasn't there, but he was just standing in the street facing down on his phone when when everyone was sliding and I almost slid into the guy. You guys gotta be so cautious up here. You gotta be so cautious. Oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're gonna get 20 something inches of snow by the end of this? This little area right here, this this gully area, this is where when we have good snowfall, 
I tell you guys to come sledding for free because your kids can go up on one side, slide down and not worry about sliding into the street. And this gully goes all the way through Moon Ridge. Let me roll down my window a little bit. That thing goes all the way through Moon Ridge and it's a great place to sled. Just make sure you're not park like blocking people's driveways and stuff. Um, it, it, well, you know what? It does say no, no trespassing, no dumping, no parking. But if you can get to a place where it doesn't say that, then you'll be fine. As I said, just be as respectful as you guys always are. I know you guys on this channel are super respectful, so I don't need to tell you guys. But yeah, I do need to tell you guys where to go sledding though and, and where to have fun and all that good stuff. So as you can tell, we're lowering in elevation a little bit. It's not as white on the road, but it's still a mix, a slushy mix right here on the ground. Coming from the sky, it's all snow. And now we are, we are on Sheephorn, I believe. Yes, we are on Sheephorn. This gully keeps on going to the left here there see folks are sledding in it right now look look see oh look at that little cutie pie that little kid sledding in it oh it's so it's so adorable that's what that's what makes me so happy is seeing you guys so excited about this stuff because i know how i was as a kid coming up to our lake arrowhead house when my mom had a house in lake arrowhead and then in the morning my brother and his friends and my friends, we would all wake up early and drive over to go skiing or snowboarding at Bear. Okay, so we're on Moon Ridge Road now. We're gonna head over towards uh, the ski resort. I think it's gonna be a lovely sight. We're gonna go up a street called Lassen. which is on the side of Bear Mountain to, to go up to the top. And then uh, the views coming down should be pretty nice. Wow, the parking lot here is so full. By the way, guys, I think I mentioned in the last video, the satellite parking lots for our ski resorts are so full right now. All the parking lots are ridiculously full. And it's quite a bummer because I don't want you guys to not get many runs in after you spend an arm and a leg to come skiing. But apparently, I didn't realize it, but the mountain, so the mountain's right there, but we're gonna go up last in here. Apparently the mountain um, has a maximum number of tickets they'll sell each day to keep it so it's not too crazy. So I was really glad to hear that. And they offer rain checks. Here's the, the bunny hill for new people to learn. You'll see a little bit better once we get up here. Let me turn down the defroster for a moment. It's still 33 degrees. The time is now 3.06 p.m. Here we go. Here's some nice, nice views of the skiing. Look at this, guys. It's, it's almost as if we're on the slope right here. Oh, this must be so great for you guys. I'm so happy for all of you out there. Woohoo! Charge it, guys. Charge it. Kick some butt. Have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make a U turn in the employee parking lot here. Oh, some deeper snow up here. Wow. wow, guys. We almost got stuck, and that doesn't happen to us. Wow, that was crazy. But yeah, so here we go. Let's take a nice little look. Look, see here. Oh yeah, guys. Incredible. We're getting dumped on inside the car now, but that's okay. You guys are worth it. All right, so we gotta be careful coming down. This is not gonna be a great time. If you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. Man, look at all these people. I'm so happy for you guys. This is what I am talking about. 
Wow, it's really coming in the car. I need to kind of roll up the window a little bit. We're still hovering at 33 degrees. Wow, it's, it's starting to come down good. And the cool thing is that we've kind of avoided some of the sleet. All right, here's a nice view. Stop the windshield wiper for a second. Never mind. <laughs> Oh yeah. Guys, literally, this is just, the ski resort's just right off this road, Lassen right here. It's so, so beautiful. We have to turn up the, just for a moment, the defroster again, guys. Sorry to be so annoying. So once we get down here, this is where Moon Ridge Road turns into Gold Mine. So we're gonna turn left on Gold Mine, and Gold Mine only lasts about 200 yards. That's the street you turn on to park at Bear Mountain, like literally at the mountain or at the golf course. And hang tight for a second. Okay. So after this car, we're gonna turn left here. And I'm gonna roll down the window to get a nice view of bear. We're gonna get soaked right here, but that's okay. You guys are worth every soaking that I can imagine. Here it comes, guys, here it comes. Just epic. Yeah, boy. Look at my shirt. In my brand new car, folks. This is the parking lot across the street from Bear. This is the golf course. It's full. All the parking lots are full right now. Super cool, man. And for you guys to go sledding for free, a good spot, you would turn left here on Club View Road and just go up to the top up there. Go up to the very top. But we're not going that direction only. Many years ago, the only time I almost got in, well, actually I've cr I just crashed a few months ago, but the only time I almost got in my first bad accident up here was right here. I started sliding sideways with my nephew in the car and we came inches from this telephone pole, power pole right here. Inches, 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 inches. It was scary. <laughs> it was really scary. That's when I put on chains for my first time and I think my only time. But that was when I was visiting up here. I think it may have been in the mid 2000s. We're gonna drive through a lower Moon Ridge neighborhood to get to the roundabout area. This is a way that, that you guys can cut off when there's a lot of traffic exiting Bear Mountain here. I'll show you, it's the first street you come up to here on the left-hand side, it's called Willow. Hello, Willow, like the movie Willow. And still 33 degrees, guys. I thought it was gonna drop while we were up in Upper Moon Ridge, but it didn't. But I told you once we got back down here, it would be 100% all snow. 
And was I right? Was I right? He was right again. Oh, he was right again. There's the golf course. Okay, so we're gonna turn left here on Willow. Even though we don't need to avoid much traffic right now, but this is just to show you guys what you can do when it's backed up all the way to the roundabout. So just turn left here and take this to the very end till you get to Elm Street. And then just follow it around until you get to the first roundabout. And you'll be at Moonridge Road. We need the temperature to drop though because we need some accumulation so we need the temperature to drop. Let's speed this up a little bit to get some of the ice off the wipers. Boom, done. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. As I said, we're in Lower Moon Ridge now. And here's Elm Street. You just follow this road around. And Willow turns into Elm Street right here. And there we go. Here's Switzerland. There's another shortcut to get to Snow Summit. It's really rough through there though, because of all the potholes and whatnot. I bottomed out on Switzerland a few days ago. I'm still feeling it on my bum. Gorgeous. You can just see sheets of snow falling down straight ahead. It's just amazing. Cars still flying through these roundabouts. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, 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 oh. So we need to yield right here. Tiger. And we're going to go to Elm Street on this side. And we're going to head up to Fox Farm area. As I said, we're, we're taking most mostly back routes today. Well, actually, the first part of this drive, we took the main roads, like Moon Ridge and <clears throat> Silvertip and Butte. But yeah, we're going to take this up here. the Fox Farm and then we're going to come around by Get the Burger restaurant and turn left on to Big Bear Boulevard. But these are all little tiny shortcuts that should save you a lot of time when we have ex an exorbitant amount of traffic and the snow is really coming down folks. I'm going to have to turn up the defroster for a moment just to warm up the windshield. States and, I, and their Airbnb properties, I believe. Those are what I want to stay in up here, are the big mansions. And when I would save up money before I was married, I would save up to stay in some really, really big places and I would stay there all by myself. Now 
Now we're on Fox Farm. When this little area has snow everywhere, it looks so pretty, you guys. It's, it looks so pretty when it's covered in snow. That's going to happen. I'm at least confident of that with this storm. still getting all snow so that's good usually I don't have to put my windshield wipers on this fast for our snowstorms up here so this is a good sign but as I said we need to lower the, the temperature here to accumulate and it is 3 20 p.m. so the Sun's gonna be going over the mountains going down over the mountains pretty soon and that's gonna lead to another temperature drop and I'm excited. Excited to see what this brings for us this evening. All right, so we're gonna go through this light instead of turn left. So this is Big Bear Boulevard. This is Get the Burger Restaurant. So there's a big satellite parking lot up here. We, we didn't take a look at this one earlier to see what's going on, if it's full. And you're not gonna believe this. It looks like there's a little bit of rain coming down now too. It's still mostly snow. Yep, this parking lot is full. Fox Farm lot number two. Jeez, look at how many cars you guys. It's a holiday weekend, so I don't expect anything less, but I, I just, I really hope all of you got a chance to ski who came up here to go skiing. Yeah, that parking lot is so full. But it looks like actually it's not as full because maybe they're telling people that the resorts have sold out of tickets. Man, that would be such a bummer, you guys, for those of you who take the time to come up here to get stuck with that type of news. That would be horrible. Okay, so we're on a street right now called Swan Drive. There's some nice homes in this neighborhood as well. If you go to the right, you'll, you'll be visiting homes that are kind of on the lake. If you go down any one of these streets. And it's all snow again. It, it was rain for like a, like rain mixed in for a couple seconds, but it's all snow again. As you can see, all the red and orange on Big Bear Boulevard, it's the south part of the lake right there. That's all Big Bear Boulevard traffic. It's pretty bad, that's why we're avoiding it right now. What I think we're gonna do is at this next, not this stop sign, but the next one, we're gonna turn right and go up and drive by some of the lake homes. But yeah, this is a nice steady, uh, precipitation coming down here. Alright, so this street I believe is called Eureka. I could be wrong, but I think. Um, yep, South Eureka Drive. And we were just on park for just a moment. But we're going to take this all the way around. 
some nice Airbnbs over here, especially the closer you get to the lake. The lake will be on the right hand side, coming up here shortly. It's a powwow in the middle of the street. So to the right, these properties are technically lake properties, but because of the uh, lack of water in the lake, you gotta walk a little bit to get out to the water. Look at this puddle here. And one of these homes is actually, uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? Mel Blank's son, Noel Blank, lives right here off, off the lake. He's the one who took over doing all the Bugs Bunny and Daffy and all those voices. There, there's the lake right there. You can't see it well right now, but that was the lake. Got some massive homes right here on the lake. I mean, look at some of the, look at the size of some of these homes. Just awesome, look at that, that is awesome. I know you can't see well through this window. Look at that huge huge place right there wow yeah those are on the lake you guys just big 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 homes there's a nice view there's the lake right there Temperature went up to 34 degrees. I'm still seeing snow, but it seems like there might be a couple raindrops mixed in. It's really incredible how we're right on that snow line so often, but to, to be able to see it rain and snow and sleet, grapple and it's, it's, it's really, really, really cool because I, I, I get to experience that almost every storm. Of course, I wish we were at Mammoth's elevation, like at the base of Mammoth Mountain, like 9,000 feet. Now it's snowing again all snow. It's so crazy how that happens. All right, so we're back on Park Avenue and we're going to stay on this street for until it dead ends at, I believe it's Summit Boulevard. Temperature, you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, you are going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we're on Park Avenue. Where are you, my brother? I'm making a video, so it's gonna be about an hour at the most. This 
this guy's so cool. He always invites me to come grab a bite to eat at Fire Rock because he works there. That's so cool. But I'm afraid to indulge because we're going to Captain's Anchorage tonight. I don't want to ruin my appetite. Okay, so we're on Summit Boulevard now. And we'll take Big Bear just for a moment. Big Bear Boulevard. If you guys keep on going straight here, you'll run into Snow Summit, but there's way too much traffic. Way too much traffic. Oh. Picture didn't come through. I can slow down the windshield wipers for a moment. You know what, maybe we are gonna go straight and cut across Evergreen. I think we will. We went down Evergreen one way already today but we're gonna cut across evergreen sorry about that guys i didn't mean to turn off the video all right here we go so we're gonna be driving towards snow summit so we don't have to deal with all that traffic on big bear boulevard <clears throat> turn left on Evergreen to get to Moon Ridge then we're gonna turn left on Moon Ridge and end the video but yeah it's coming down good guys it's coming down good I'm super happy for y'all because I want you all to enjoy yourselves now this guy's going super slow so we're gonna turn look at all that traffic going into Snow Summit Jeez, that's horrible and it's 3 30 it's probably people picking people up but man that's horrible Crestwood, we're crossing right now. It's a big dip right here. You gotta be careful. There we go. Even though it's 34, it's still all snow right now. If you can see, let me zoom in so you can see a little better. See the snow a little better. Tell it's really snowing here. But we'll zoom in for the rest of Evergreen, it's not much more, just so you guys can really get a sense of what's going on here better sense because what you're what I'm seeing through the camera now is what I'm seeing before it, it just didn't look like that much was actually coming down but it really is and here's Apple's bed and breakfast straight ahead oh yeah guys thank you for cruising with me always i love you guys so much 
It makes me so happy to have you guys in my life. It's January 14th, 2023. As soon as it picks up and accumulates, I'll be making another video. I love you guys a lot. Take care of yourselves, and I will chat with you all later. Peace.